Have you ever wondered how the unsinkable Titanic ended up at the bottom of the Atlantic? It all began with the construction of this magnificent ship, an engineering marvel of the early 20th century. The Titanic was billed as the epitome of luxury and invincibility, a symbol of mankind's triumph over nature. The anticipation surrounding its maiden voyage was palpable, with people across the globe eagerly following its progress. Built by the esteemed Harland & Wolff shipyard in Belfast, the Titanic boasted an array of luxurious amenities that were unmatched for the time. From opulent suites to gourmet restaurants, it was a floating palace designed to impress the wealthiest of patrons. Among those on board were some of the era's most notable figures, each expecting a journey as grand as the ship itself. But as we all know, the Titanic's voyage ended in tragedy. On a calm and clear night, a seemingly small error set the stage for one of the biggest maritime disasters in history. The Titanic, a grand vessel believed to be unsinkable, was on her maiden voyage. Unknown to the crew, a colossal iceberg was lurking in the frigid waters of the North Atlantic. Despite the iceberg being spotted, the ship's delayed response led to a fatal collision. The iceberg scraped the Titanic's starboard side, causing water to flood into five of the ship's compartments, a catastrophic damage that the Titanic was not designed to withstand. The ship's communication system failed to convey the gravity of the situation in time, resulting in a delayed evacuation. As the reality of the situation sank in, panic ensued. The unsinkable ship was sinking, and there were not enough lifeboats for everyone. The Titanic sinking was a tragedy that shook the world and led to significant changes in maritime safety. In the immediate aftermath, the disaster prompted an international outcry and a thorough investigation. The findings were alarming, revealing a gross lack of lifeboats and inadequate communication systems. As a direct consequence, maritime safety regulations underwent a complete overhaul it became mandatory for ships to carry enough lifeboats for every passenger and crew member on board. Communication systems were drastically improved, with ships now required to maintain a 24-hour radio watch. Perhaps one of the most significant changes was the establishment of the International Ice Patrol. This organization, still active today, is charged with monitoring iceberg danger in the North Atlantic Ocean and providing timely warnings to ships. The Titanic's legacy is a stark reminder of the importance of safety over grandeur, a lesson learned at a terrible cost.